Earth's atmosphere is monitored at ground level by ground weather stations, and also at altitude by weather balloons and radar. Every day, thousands of weather balloons are released from weather stations. As the balloon rises, the sensors it carries measures the pressure, temperature, and humidity of the atmosphere. The weather balloon transmits this information to the weather station by radio waves. To follow atmospheric developments over a larger territory, meteorologists use radar. Radar emits microwaves that detect the presence of precipitation and the movements of air masses. Radar makes it possible to forecast weather events, such as the formation of tornadoes. Atmospheric pressure is defined as the weight of air per surface unit, that is, the force it exerts on a given surface. Atmospheric pressure can be measured with a mercury barometer. A mercury barometer is made of a tube from which the air has been withdrawn, inserted into a vessel containing liquid mercury. As it presses on the liquid, the air forces it to rise inside the tube. The height of the mercury in the tube indicates the pressure. Atmospheric pressure depends on altitude. It is one-third as strong on top of Mount Everest as it is at sea level. Atmospheric pressure also varies according to temperature. Air is composed of molecules of gas that are always moving. The colder the air, the more slowly its molecules move. So they tend to be closer together. The air contracts and becomes denser, and therefore heavier. The force that air exerts on a given surface increases. In other words, atmospheric pressure rises. On the other hand, when air heats up, it expands, and atmospheric pressure drops. All around Earth, high pressure zones called anticyclones, and low pressure zones called depressions, cause the weather phenomena that stir up the atmosphere. <laughs>